Test, test. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, we'd like to start now, even if there are some people still missing. Um, but it's already uh, 9.30, so I propose that we're going to start now. So I welcome you uh, here in Friedrichshafen. Thank you all for coming, and I hope that we'll have a very uh, nice weekend together and very fruitful discussions. Uh, without further uh, discussions, we're going to start out with uh, everything that we need to be done before General Assembly, so you have the procedure. So first of all, we'd like to um, uh, ask the General Assembly whether uh, they accept that uh, Jakub will take uh, the minutes. So uh, we have our uh, board member still, uh, Jakub, who will take the few, uh, few votes that we'll have uh, uh, today. Uh, in the minutes, so um, I would really ask you if you uh, accept that uh, Jakub will take the minutes. So uh, please raise your uh, voting cards if you accept that. Um, someone, count? Gregory, can you count? So we have eight, uh, nine. So with the, the delegations registered. That is a majority, so we have uh, Jakub as our uh, minutes taker. So the next point is that we need someone to count the votes. So, can, so Jakub can write down uh, what we're voting. So is there someone who is uh, volunteering for this task? Someone who can count, uh, that would be uh, very, very good. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> okay, we, we're looking for a mathematician who can count. So your, your job will be to uh, tell us when people raise their cards, if a majority raises the cards on yes or no, and then tell, the, uh, tell Jakub whether it is a yes or a no. And then later on we will go through uh, the voting forms together with the person responsible for the voting, and he will uh, check that we're co counting it uh, correctly. So we have one candidate here. Is there another candidate? No. So we have uh, Thomas from Switzerland. So please raise your uh, cards if you're in favor of uh, Thomas being the, responsible, uh, the person responsible for counting the votes. You can count already. Okay, so please raise your card now if you're against uh, the proposal that Thomas will take over the, the votes, vote counting. That is zero as far as I can see. Okay, uh, are there any abstentions? No? Okay, so congratulations, Thomas. You are. <laughs> There you go, we have the first election already. So thank you, Thomas, um, for uh, doing this task. Then, um, without further ado, we're going to have the first the rules of procedures. We, we're going to have the first uh, vote, and it's about the rules of procedures. So uh, today we're, going, we're not going to use them very much, because um, we're having the presentation of the candidates just this morning. Uh, the voting will be done on paper, and then um, the status discussions will happen this afternoon in an uh, open space environment without uh, strict rules of the rules of procedure, so everybody who is interested to join that discussion can do so. So uh, the rules of procedure are mainly for um, Sunday for the candidature presentations, and then if someone has a, a motion in between. Um, yes, there was a question about rules of procedures, so uh, go ahead. Uh, not exactly a question, but a statement. Uh, uh, as far as I can see, um, there's nowhere defined what, the, what constitutes a valid vote. So I propose that only uh, yes and no votes are seen as valid votes, uh, and the abstentions are additionally protocoled. Okay. So you're proposing that uh, we're adding an article to the rules of procedure that uh, yes and no votes are uh, qualified as regular votes and as abstentions are, um, are regarded as uh, invalid votes. Okay, 
Um, Jakub, did you get that uh, for the? Okay, did you get that for the the minutes? Okay, so I repeat. That's for the voting afterwards. With uh, after the candidature presentations. So. Um, I repeat uh, the motion that was to change, uh, to add uh, to the rules of procedure an article saying that yes and no votes are counted as valid votes and abstentions are counted as invalid votes. Um, okay. Uh, please have uh, Thomas have a look at it now because we're going to raise the question now. So who is in favor of that uh, modification of the rules of procedures? Okay, who is against it? Okay, that's five against. Are there any abstentions? So yeah, yeah, we have uh, we have uh, against. Okay, so this is uh, not passed. Then uh, it's the rules of procedure stay as they are. So uh, the next questions will be. None for, there were two against. Okay. So now it's the vote on the rules of procedure. Um, so this is uh, just to, just to uh, ensure you. This is the most uh, procedural uh, uh, stage of the the conference. So afterwards, we're having the candidate representations and we're having a uh, discussion. So uh, let's go through this uh, again with the rules of procedures. So we're voting on them now. Who is in favor of take of uh, um, accepting the rules of procedures as they are now? Please raise your card, Mr. Vote Counter. Eleven in favor. Who is against? Please raise your card now. That's no one. And any abstentions? None. Okay, so the rules of procedure are accepted as they are now. And then we're moving on with uh, um, the people from uh, Richard from uh, Ravensburg, who is going to um, present us and uh, tell us uh, his welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, fellow pirates, sympathizers, and guests. Welcome to Friedrichshafen. My name is Richard Holderried, and I'm from Ravensburg, the candidate for the Baden-Württemberg Parliament, as well as chairman of our local chapter of the Pirate Party Germany. I'm glad to greet you here, and I hope you will bo enjoy both your stay and the conference. My team and I have done as much as possible to make sure you find everything here to your liking. If you have any issues, please feel free to uh, contact our orga team. You can uh, recognize our orga team by their uh, scripts, which says Helfer in German, which means as much as helper. I hope we can help you. And now I wish everyone a nice weekend and a successful conference. Thank you. Thank you. Richard. So, then we have an, uh, another guest. Oh, hi. Um, good morning, everybody. I am Teresa Kohn. I am um, the deputy chairwoman of the Pirates Association in Baden-Württemberg. And I wish you a nice weekend. Uh, have a nice day. Have a nice and successful conference. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Uh, welcome to any new arrivals. So, you can go on with you, Gary, is that correct? Oh, ah, OK. 
can do anyway. Can, can annoy him often. Okay. Um, so uh, thank you um, from the people from Ravensburg. And we're going to continue with uh, Gregory, who's going to talk about the uh, pirate movement in the last few weeks and months. Well, just a quick introduction. Since, since we are... Uh, hello, welcome from me as well. My name is Gregory Engels. Uh, for those who know, do not know me in person. Um, yeah, I want to friendly welcome you to the PPI conference and must say this was a lot of uh, work and I'm very excited that it's finally have started. It was Skype, sorry. <laughs> and um, I want to thank the people from Ravensbrück, Friedrichshafen, um, who took the initiative to organize the Worldwide Pirate Conference. Um, here it was a lot of large amount of work to do. And um, really, thank you. And okay, they're already out of the room and, and working. Oh, there's one. Let's uh, <laughs> let's thank him. <laughs> Stefan, <laughs> to dich. <laughs> thank you. No, 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 no. It was for you. It was your applause. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> no problem. No. Anyway. Um, I also want to make, um, since we are a non-profit organization and um, do not have any membership fees and only uh, rely on uh, donations, um, I'm like to excuse somewhat that we need to take the um, entrance fee for this conference and it isn't really in a spirit of, of that we want to bring all the people, all the pirates together from all the countries um, to be here. Um, and I want in this context very um, like very much to thank our sponsors who did a special contribution without that um, this conference uh, wouldn't be able to conduct anyway. Um, so thank you, um, Alpha Teams. It's uh, the guy over there. And they, and thank you, Open. Um, <laughs> oh, no problem, Open Factory. Um, who I think is not now in the room yet. I haven't seen him today. Um, but still, um, when they arrive, they will set up an um, info table outside the room where they will have the info materials and will present themselves. So mm -hmm. please take a minute and look what they can offer. Um, so we can have more sponsors next time. Thank you, sponsors. <laughs> well, since we are very advanced in the time already and have started late, um, I will limit my speech somewhat very and will not talk about like some couple of seconds more. I just want to realize you that, that you realize where we are now compared to last year. Um, since last year in Brussels, the 22 pirate parties have joined um, Umbrella Organization. <laughs> Can you switch the sound? <laughs> The yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, good. Yes, that is an exciting moment. I understand from a lot of people. That's a remote delegate who is talking and uh, asking details of how to do um, the voting. So, as far as I understand, that's right. Twelve delegate delegations are present in this room right now, and we have uh, more, like eleven more, or something, um, waiting remote to participate. They have. Uh, Applications from new countries want to join, um, and other organizations want to join as well. Um, we saw during this year, um, like last year, there was about like pirate parties movements in about 35 countries, maybe. Some of them were ad very advanced um, and have participated in election already. Um, some of them were not really, like they just just started a couple of people, um, activists, who were about to set a pirate party. During this year, we saw um, enormous, the continuous of growth in the pirate movement. So right now, there are about like 60-something countries. Uh, the pirate movement started also in Asia, and uh, like in countries like Maldives, and um, also in Northern Africa, and um, like Tunisia and Morocco. And also this year has brought um, well, a very new development, especially in the Northern Africa part of the world, where we saw that the people are not, like, 
the people are not, <laughs> it's, it's, it's under, would be to say under the statement that they would say that they are not um, um, comp not, not excited about how politics works there because they're not really politics. So it's, it's really a wrong thing to do. Um, but they see that the, the people participating in a new kind of political process of the pirates are part of. And this is um, very exciting to see how it happened every day. And we had a, a lot of meetings to support this movement, actually. And we had uh, conversations with the people, um, with the pirates of Tunisia, as it was um, the, the most heated phase of the revolution, and um, tried to support them. And, and then we did a lot of support there. And um, also, must remind you that uh, before that, um, there was something happened called WikiLeaks, which was there before, of course, but you know, um, the WikiLeaks, uh, the, 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 as they tried to shut WikiLeaks down, the pirates stood up united and took a lot of actions and set up uh, like uh, hundreds of mirrors and really supported the transparency thought of that um, the politics should be transparent and it's really, um, it was really nice to work with all you guys um, during this phase and the other others. And just to um, make it short, actually, I'm very excited what is happening right now in the pirate movement. And I think that the coming year will bring even more development, much even faster than what will already happen. And we also saw like, a, one, one, just one thing to add. Um, we saw during this year um, also a lot of pirate parties took place first time in the in regular elections, in the parliament election like Pirate Party of Netherlands and um, other pirate parties in the local elections. Um, there was an election in Catalonia, there was an election in Canada, in New Zealand, in England, in, I surely forget some of them. Uh, okay, the results were not enough to get parliament seats but they were enough to get noticed by politicians worldwide. So we're already influencing uh, policy making in a lot of countries where people are afraid of taking more steps towards um, limiting civic rights because they know the pirates are there and they will take the place and they will get support as if the politician will continue to do what they do. And this is to prove why pirates, parties, Worldwide, I really need it. Well, this is a fine statement to close with, uh, my speech, and I would like to, I don't see them in the room, actually, but for the most part of the conference, we have uh, planned to conduct it in a, in a space, um, in, a, in a conference format, it's called Open Space Conference, and we are pirates about open everything, we are about open data, open access, open software, so why not open conference then? And we have an expert on this, Bjorn, who is not in the room right now, but I call outside. <laughs> Bjorn! Where the hell is he? Du thanks, An. <laughs> okay, he's coming. Well, um, as I say, as since Pirates Party is also associated with a lot of open things and a lot of openness, um, I thought that trying on the open space conference design uh, would fit pirates. And he's beyond, he is our expert on open space conference, and he will take over and start. Oh no, sorry, fuck. I shouldn't say it. This was me, my, my fault, my fault. I forgot the half important thing, sorry. Why haven't you stopped me? <laughs> okay, um, I forgot, we, we, before, before that part, um, this will be the next page. Before that, we um, need to take the presentations um, for um, memberships applications that we have there. And we go through this, and every applicant have five minutes to present themselves. And we start with... I wait. Yeah. I want to try out the, the Skype. And the okay, we, try, we want to try out the Skype. Yeah. You know, everybody have tried out Skype yet. No, sorry. So what? So I'm just uh, trying to get the remote voters uh, online, and I wanted to 
try the whole Skype thing and let them introduce uh, them to us uh, for for uh, 15 seconds, tell who they are and um, where are they calling us from and where, where they are watching the stream. So hello, remote voters. Uh, please present yourself now in a few uh, seconds. So um, let's try. Hello. Okay, hello. So uh, we can hear you. Just let uh, don't, don't talk all, all at the same time. Uh, please, Brandon Molly, present yourself. Okay. Uh, I'm a loser from Portugal, and I'm listening to you from and I'm seeing you from um, TLC. Uh, okay. From Portugal. But it's kind of messy now because I'm getting a lot of feedback. <laughs> okay, we heard that you're from Portugal, but uh, we're trying to get the. Um, okay, so we're trying this out. If it doesn't work, we have to just skip over. Okay, hello, are you there, Portugal? Can you hear us? Yes, yes, I can hear you now. Uh, I turned down the, the sound on the VLC player, so I don't have the feedback. <laughs> okay, just present yourself very quickly to uh, people that are in Friedrichshafen, please. Okay, I'm, I'm Nuno Cardoso. I'm the international coordinator from Portugal, and uh, uh, we are one of the, the founding members of the Pirate Parties International. Uh, we couldn't get there last year because of the volcano. We couldn't get there uh, this year because of other issues. And, well, that's it. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. We will come back to you when we are going to do the voting. Thanks okay. for your introduction. Yes, please. Then we're going to try out the part party of New Zealand. Turn down the volume, perhaps a bit. Oh. The stream. Turn, turn down the stream. Okay. Okay, now we can hear you. Uh, welcome, uh, New Zealand. Present yourself in a few seconds. Uh, hi. Go ahead. Hi, um, I am Noel, and I'm the delegate of Pirate Party New Zealand. Okay, hello. Um, come from the city of Auckland, where I'm speaking from right now. Uh, so we're trying to, um, yes, so we're trying to um, register with um, Pirate Parties International. Okay, thank you um, for this short introduction. We will get back to you when we are voting. Thank you. Okay, so now we're trying uh, the Pirate Party of Kazakhstan. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so it works, we can hear them. That's very good. Okay, I can hear myself. Turn down the stream so we can hear you. Okay, I can hear myself. Turn down the stream so we can hear you. Oh, we can even see. Turn down the stream so we can hear you. Turn down the stream. The volume of the stream. Turn down 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 the stream. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Marat. To Kazakhstan. Thank you, Marat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, then we're trying the last person. That's Tommy Ferguson. Okay, let's try. And then... Yeah, hello. I'm uh, also from the Pirate Party of New Zealand. Um, I'd like to add that we're uh, 12 hours ahead of you, so uh, later on this afternoon for you guys will be early in the morning for us. And yeah, um, 
I'm glad to be here. Uh, welcome. Come on, bit of applause. Thank you. thank you. Okay, thank you. We're going to get back to you later for the votes. Okay, that's it for the, uh, the remote voting. So uh, we have everybody online who wants to be online. Uh, it's 10 o'clock, so we can start with the uh, uh, membership applications. Yeah. And uh, you are going to um, call. Them, and, and We're going to announce. Uh, whatever, but yeah. Yes, okay. Yeah. And the first on our list is Slovenia. And I think that is a delegate from here. So it's your part, your five minutes. Hello, uh, I'm Rok Andre from the Slovenian Pirate Party. So they asked me to introduce us. Uh, we started in 2009, but died off and started again six months ago. Uh, we just founded a society of Pirate Slovenia because founding a pirate party, a political party in Slovenia is very costly and very problematic, but we're getting there. Uh, at the moment, we have nine active members. Uh, 20 25 have already um, signed up for membership, and we have around 4,500 people on Facebook. Um, the outcry from the people is very good because um, not just uh, not just because they like the internet and what we stand for, but because the situation in Slovenia is. Um, very problematic because all the same people have been in power for around 30, 40 years. So any, anyone we ask, anyone we tell who we are, they're very, very interested. And uh, we, pre we presume that we'll be getting a lot of uh, membership applications when we actually start collecting um, people, when we start actually showing people that we exist. Because at the moment, our uh, marketing is not well, not so good because for marketing you need money and we have none. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So, next one. No, wait. They have five seconds. They, they, they still have about three minutes left. <laughs> so, uh, maybe somebody has a question to Pirate Party of Slovenia they want to ask. Ah, so, so you want to ask a question for yourself? No, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have a question. Sorry. Wait a second. Now you said that there are uh, bad conditions to actually found the party to start be registered. What are the conditions? Because a lot of pirate parties facing the same issue, like Brasilia need one million signatures and stuff. So, what are the conditions in Slovenia? Well, Slovenia has only 2 million people, uh, but the condition goes like this. You require 200 notarized sing signatures, uh, and 101 of those people have to gather in the same place to elect the board. Uh, the problem is getting the, the same 100 people that actually notarized, because this is a lengthy process. You actually have to go to a government-run organization or uh, to a notary office. Um, we're thinking about actually inviting um, someone from the notary organization uh, to notarize on the spot, but that would cost us 1,600 euros. And if we play around and we set the venue next to one of the government organizations, this would cost us around 600 euros. Where, but in Slovenia, the average pays 700 euros, so that's a bit problematic. This is why we founded the society. So we have uh, a platform to start collecting money, uh, donations, uh, memberships, etc. Another question from the Czech Pirates? I wanted to ask what are the core issues of the Slovenian Pirate Party? Is there anything different from other pirate parties or is it like pretty much standard pirate party in this sense? What is the standard? <laughs> um, well, if we take the Swedish Pirate Party as a standard, um, as you said, um, well, we stand for the same things, especially when it comes to copyright law, pat patent law. Um, we're very strong supporters with, uh, about open source. We're actually um, working with the Free Software Foundation in Slovenia. Uh, and we're very into 100% transparency. 
So transparency for uh, government, transparency for our party, and of course open standards, uh, open source. But when it comes to copyright and patent law, we've just started researching that. So uh, at the moment we hold uh, the same positions as the Swedish Pirate Party. Um, yeah, that would be that would be it when it comes to uh, our. Anyone else? Okay, last short question. How many members you have? Uh, at the moment, nine active, 25 on file, and 4,000 on Facebook. We're hoping to increase that number when we start marketing, when we start um, sh sharing information, when we start uh, handing out flyers, when we start working on the streets, etc. Because uh, not a lot of people uh, who are on the internet really care about anything else but World of Warcraft. And I'm sorry for any players. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. We, he will be available all day, so you have more questions. <laughs> Ask him in person. And if remote delegates have a question, they should write them to us, and we will transfer them to them, uh, to the relevant applicant. So, um, just, we don't vote now. We have a voting block in the end. Um, we now come to the presentation of the Pirate Party of Canada. And they have made a movie that will show us because nobody from them are present here. But we have a remote delegate available. Hi, I'm Michael Paul. Second. Okay. Can can we dim out this light uh, in front? Is it possible to do it quickly or is it? Wolfgang, you know? Do you know if it's possible to dim the lights uh, in front? Okay. Wait a second, Jerry. Teresa is our woman to do that. Much better. Okay, attention. Hi, I'm Michael Paulson, leader of the Pirate Party of Canada. The Pirate Party was founded in 2009 and became registered in 2010. Okay, we have and problems with quick time. Hi, I'm Michael Paulson, leader of the Pirate Party. Hi, I'm Michael Paulson, leader of the Pirate Party of Canada. <laughs> the Pirate Party was founded in 2009 and became registered in 2010 when we ran our first candidate in a by-election in Winnipeg North. In doing so, we became the first pirate party outside of Europe to become registered and the first outside of Europe to run a candidate. Our candidate finished in fifth place out of seven with 0.6% of the popular vote. Essentially, our platform is a moderate one. We're focused on building a credible political force to combat the present first-past-the-post electoral system in Canada that discriminates against small and issue-based parties. In addition to our core platform of copyright reform, patent reform, individual privacy, open government, and free speech, all of our candidates are required to introduce their own platforms for a vote within the party. Uh, these platforms need to be comprehensive, focusing on international affairs, environment, health, all that sort of thing. Uh, and uh, they need not agree with one another. But what they mean is that each individual candidate needs to be able to respond uniquely to the needs of their constituents, and ultimately when elected as an MP, they need to be able to speak directly for their constituents in Parliament. That's a luxury not available to candidates in other parties, and it's something that's given us some very good media attention in the past, and I'm sure it will in the future as well. Our international involvement includes the Tunisia Task Force. We uh, have established a new Director of International and Interpartisan Relations, Mike Blesky, who will be working with Pirate Parties International and uh, with other pirate parties individually and in groups as uh, issues of common concern arise. We're presently offering VPN services to individuals in uh, countries affected by internet censorship and we're looking to expand that program in the future. Right now we're preparing for our first general election which is rumored to take place at the end, the end of March. Uh, we're looking to run between two and four candidates. Uh, we're still lining up the specifics, but we're looking forward to a good election. 
Uh, on February 17th, the Federal Council unanimously voted in favor of making an application to Pirate Parties International for membership. Our own members voted overwhelmingly in favor of doing so. So we now put the question to you. Will you allow us to join you as an equal partner? We're looking forward to working with you in the future, whether within Pirate Parties International or from the outside. Thank you very much for your consideration. Well, thank you. I guess it was a great video we missed. Um, but if anyone has questions, um, they are available on the stream to answer. So I can ask any questions. Oh, please tell him to turn down the stream. Okay, can, yes. That's, uh, okay, anyone have a question for Canadians? Yes, hello everybody. Sorry about uh, the technical difficulties that we've been having with uh, Skype. Um, my name is uh, Mike Blusky, and I am the International and Interpartisan uh, Director for the Pirate Party of Canada. And um, I'm, I'm currently calling from Ottawa. It is four in the morning. So, um, hey. if, if there are any questions, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, if um, if there are any questions that you might have, um, I'll be glad to answer them. So, anyone? Hi, I'm uh, Mark from Pirate Party Austria, and I have uh, <laughs> one single question: Do you have any Pirate Party headquarters in Vancouver? Um, in Vancouver, there are currently um, activities going on. Uh, the, one of our directors lives in Vancouver, um, Sean Valias, and we are holding rallies that um, on a regular basis. Um, there are our only real headquarters are based uh, just outside of Montreal. Um, we don't have we don't like have a full scale office. Um, we work basically on a on a volunteer basis. Okay, so I will visit you in, in uh, August this year, and uh, I hope that there will any activity there. And uh, then I will visit them <laughs> and give a little bit of support from Austria. <laughs> Thank you very much. Of course. <laughs> okay. Any more questions? No questions? Yeah, we have a question, another question from Austria. Hi, it's Marke Stoff, also Pirate Party Austria. Uh, how are your relations to the Pirate Party of the United States? Um, well, right now uh, we actually do have one of our act mo most active uh, people, um, Travis McRae. He used to be a director with the Pirate Party USA. Um, however, though, there are some internal issues within, um, within the Pirate Party US which keeps them from uh, interacting with us on a more regular basis. However, though um, we do have we do have good relations with them. We share we share our um, IRC network with them. Um, you know, social uh, conversation. Is it answered? Okay. Um, thank you. I don't see any questions. Like 10 seconds to go. No, we are over time anyway. Um, very good. We carry on with the Pirate Party of Morocco. And um, there is uh, due to political situation in Morocco. And since political activists are, well, it's not that easy uh, for people to stand up and, and show themselves. So um, they will not be able you will not be able to see them on the street on the stream okay okay alors on va excuse me <laughs> so i i'm going to read out uh, a speech that was prepared from pirate party of morocco because as gregory explained um they uh, cannot be on the stream, so um, I will do the reading, and afterwards we can uh, look for the questions. So we 
manage that. So now I'm talking on behalf of the Pirate Party of Morocco. So, dear participants to the 2011 PPI conference, first of all, please accept our apologies for not being able to come to Friedrichshafen as the Schengen visa requests were refused for three of us by the German ambassador, embassy, embassy in Morocco. We wish to comment this situation. The reasons given by the council are not valid, claiming that they did, uh, that, they did that we did, could not prove our intention to return to Morocco after the PPI conference. We booked return flights and did provide all the necessary supporting documents to get the visa. It should be stressed, Moroccan members of youth section of other more established parties do, uh, do get their visas without any known case of refusal to allow them to attend international events organized by the Socialist International, the European People's Party or the Liberal International. This only proves that the German embassy still does not consider PP as a regular party like any other. In addition, we are serious uh, university student, students with grades to back this up and claiming that we present a risk of clandestine immigration is pathetic nonsense. Our party is still uh, in its infancy and we are working hard by now to get registered by Morocco's Ministry of Interior, which is in charge of NGO registration. We will not attempt to register as a political party at this stage as the conditions required by Morocco's draconian law on political parties are extremely restrictive, but just as an NGO, which is easier. We therefore need all the help we can get and we kindly ask you to sign the support letters that our member attending the PPI will distribute, uh, will distribute during uh, these two days. The situation in Morocco is very tricky for foreigners and Moroccans alike as a regime's slick marketing strategy is so pow powerful and sub uh, subtle that it makes Morocco look very liberal when compared to other Arab countries. While we might have had some more freedom in Morocco than in most other Arab countries, especially on the internet, the situation has been worsening since 2003. The former liberal atmosphere is being tightened ever more. Bloggers and Facebookers have been jailed in 2009 and 2010, for example, and many newspapers have been forced to close, if not by court decision, then by the financial boycott of advertisers acting under pressure from the authorities. Regarding the political institutions, Morocco is officially a constitutional monarchy, but the prime minister has a real role and the parliament's prerogatives are so limited that the elections are meaningless. As a result, they were boycotted by 67% of the population in 2007. Also to note that election results have not been forged in Morocco since 2002, uh, which adds some weight to the regime's marketing and thus strengthens, strengthens its liberal image, fooling those people who are not aware that the elections to the powerless parliament are largely useless, making election fraud unnecessary. Our aim at Pirate Party Morocco is to help internet freedom and net neutrality in Morocco a reality and not just a slogan to help promote the regime's image as a well-established democracy. As an example, we have helped some bloggers to set up a successful portal to cover the popular protest of February 20th, thus helping to provide a balanced view on events, countering official media propaganda. To finish on a positive note, after noting the significance of the February 20th popular protests, Morocco's King Mohammed uh, VI made a speech on March 9th promising constitutional reforms that are supposed to reduce his powers and decrease those of the elected prime minister with a referendum planned by June. Until this time, we will work to provide internet platforms to those uh, whose views do not find their ways into mainstream media and we expect that the first positive step the regime will accept our application to be a legal organization. Dear participants, we are keeping an eye on Morocco's repressive authorities and we therefore ask you to keep an eye on us to help us overcome censorship and repression. The re revolutionary spirit of Tunisia and Egypt must be an inspiration to all of us, uh, north and south of the Mediterranean. Thank you all for your attention, and you can address SP3 directly for further information. So, um, if there are any questions, 
Uh, is there any questions on the um, more administrative uh, part of PP Morocco? So how it is uh, organized, how about statutes, etc. Um, you should contact um, PPI or uh, SP3, and he will give you an, an, an email address of uh, their their um, their leader who can answer those questions. If there are any um, questions on more political scale, uh, we can ask uh, him now. But we have to turn on to the stream for that. Yes, please. So, are there any questions? A remark? Okay. So, um, let's, let's wait for the, the micro so the people on the stream can hear us. It's, it's just a small remark. Um, I would just like to say that I've been following uh, the Moroccan lead leader prior to um, well his decision uh, to find uh, the party. And they're currently using um, Dutch VPN uh, connections, and I personally uh, vouch um, for their, uh, um, well, for them being a proper pirate party. Okay, thank you for that. Is there any other questions to Pirate Party of Morocco? Okay, let me just quickly check if there's someone in the stream wanting to ask a question. Uh, no? Okay. So, um, thank you very much. And we're going to move on to the next uh, applicant, Gregory, which is on the list. Please take over. Hey, where's my agenda? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm um, new technic technologist and stuff. Um, the next... Oh, Jerry, it's your laptop. Um, the next applicant we have on the list is a pirate party of New Zealand. And they also have made, no, they don't. They don't have a video. No. Nobody has someone in they have somebody in the, in the Skype. Um, who is it? Mike? Oh? No, no, no. no. Wait. Let's come. Okay, we're calling Tommy Ferguson. There. Okay, help. Okay. Hello? We can hear you. Okay, what was the question? Uh, please introduce Pirate Party of New Zealand. Okay. Well, uh, the Pirate Party in New Zealand has uh, been around for a little while, but um, not sort of been doing much. We've just sort of been building up. Basically, our um, structure, and we're basically trying to get members now and in the next few months. And uh, we contested one uh, parliamentary by-election here, which was uh, only last weekend. Uh, there's a general election later this year that we're uh, aiming to contest in, and the uh, electoral rules here, we need 500 members um, in the, the next two or three months in order to uh, contest that election. Uh, we currently only have about 40 members, but we're uh, only really starting to advertise ourselves so now and soon and hoping to uh, advertise in more areas around the country in the next couple of months and get up to that 500 members. Um, our policy is basically haven't been officially adopted yet, but they're broadly based on the Swedish Pirate Party's platform. Uh, I think Noel also has something to say about the Pirate Party of New Zealand. Okay, thank you. Are there any questions? Anyone wants to ask a question through a representative of the Pirate Party of New Zealand? Yes, there's one out there. When, we, uh, when will you organize a conference so we from Europe can go to the other part of the world? <laughs> Did you get that? So uh, the representative from Serbia wanted to ask when you're organizing a conference in uh, New Zealand so all the people from Europe can get to your, to your country. <laughs> Oh, he, ha he, ha he did hang up. He, he doesn't want you there. <laughs> 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 
Oh, so uh, I'm guessing it wasn't uh, too uh, serious of a question anyway. So as there wasn't any, any other questions, uh, we're moving on to the next uh, um, application, which is now, um, these were all applications for ordinary membership, so uh, from pirate parties, the first of their country. And now we're moving on to the op um, observer memberships. Um, the next on my list told me, please, to move them further back because they're not ready to present yet. Um, so the next on the list would be Bavaria. Anyone from Bavaria here? Yeah, Alex. Fine, thanks. Hi, my name is Alex Lesman. Um, thanks for letting us be here. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the um, the state car. Uh, the wait, wait a minute, my notes um, about the Pirate Party of uh, Bavaria. We uh, were founded in 2007 on the 6th of January, and have almost 2,700 members who organize themselves in seven district associations and 11 qu county divisions. Um, we are the largest state association um, inside of the German Pirate Party. Um, while the ne next elections for the uh, state parliament in Bavaria aren't until 2013, we are trying to be well armed and are in the uh, last workings of setting up structures so that we can, that's our goal, um, take up seats in the state parliament as soon as, uh, as the elections are. Networking is an essential part of political work, and that's why we would like to be part of the worldwide pirate movement that's organized in PPI as an observing member. Thank you for your attention. Well, thank you. So, any questions? And it's... Mind you, it's the first observer member we have uh, applying for. It's the first organization that's applying for observer membership. So maybe also on fundamental scale, question about observing memberships or whatever. So a question to Bavarius. Okay, he was first, sorry. Um, well, this question, I suppose, could go out to quite a few of the parties I see applying for observer membership. But basically, um, what do you see as, as the role of, of Pirate Party Bavaria within PPI that wouldn't be able to be realized through Pirate Party Germany's participation in PPI? Is it done? No, not done. Okay, take this. I could have put it on. Um, well, we're, we're applying for observant membership. That means that we want to be part of it. We want to uh, know what is happening in the PPI family. For those who may or may not know, um, I myself have been active in uh, the calls uh, about WikiLeaks and North Africa. Um, and uh, the one thing is the, 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 the votes, the decision making. That's something that we, of course, leave to the Pirate Party of Germany. But we want to, to be more active and participate more active in, into being there and knowing what is happening, knowing what uh, PPI is doing. Okay, is it answered? Can it? Is the question answered? Okay. Okay. The question answered as well, very good. Any more questions to Pirate Party of Bavaria? Okay, very good then. And since I have to prepare yet something, um, for the next week, skip the one and go to Pirate Party of Catalonia. We take the Catalonian, they have also created a movie Let's see, it's a different format, so maybe it will work better. <laughs> mm 
interesting. It's black. <laughs> okay, um, wait a second. Hello, pirates. Please, wait a second. Uh, can we dim the light again? Thank you. Um, can you create whatever? I don't know. It seems tragic to... Hello, pirates. I'm Jordi Sucheron and I'm a member of Piratas de Catalunya. Hello, I'm Xavi Vila, current secretary general of the Piratas de Catalunya, the Pirate Party of Catalonia. Ahoy, pirates. I'm Kenneth Peiruza, member of Piratas de Catalunya and nowadays a spokesperson of the party. As of right now, Piratas de Catalunya has more than 400 affiliates. In the last election here in Catalonia last November, we got nearly 6,500 votes. And this is impressive considering that we had only been alive for 55 days, since the 4th of October. Xavi Vila, our Secretary General, has been in the core team of PPI for three months. Myself was the Spanish delegate on the former PPI assembly. And we've been in several member meetings with the WikiLeaks task force with Mr. Thomas Wall, and we have helped in Free Tunisia.net project and other issues in North Africa, setting the BPI and servers that help the pirates of Tunisia and Morocco to keep connected to the Internet, uh, bypassing the restrictions imposed by their governments. We also have the pirate server configured to keep parties informed about all our activities. As you can see, we have been very active lately. We want to be a full member of the Pirate Parties International, Due to the current status, uh, we cannot opt for that kind of membership because the Spanish Pirate Party is already a full member. So at least we ask to be an observer member to be as involved as possible right now. We will keep working with the Spanish Pirate Party to solve this situation, but we still have to see which option is the best. If you happen to have any ideas in how to address this issue, please contact us. We're open. We are sorry not to be with you here today. Unfortunately, we have some other tasks to do. We hope to be able to participate in the forthcoming meetings, but we have uh, another elections, uh, municipality elections, in May, so we'll be a little bit busy. Thank you. Piratas! <laughs> okay. Um, actually, I don't know. Jerry's left... <laughs> Um, I don't know. I forgot. Did we had uh, someone from Catalonian on the Skype? Yes. No. I don't know. I don't remember. Let's see. Ooh. Skype. Portuguese. I don't see them in the in the Skype here in the group, so I have no idea. And okay, if Jer okay, whatever. So maybe uh, we will find someone to ask uh, to answer questions if there are any. And I don't see. idea. Well, very good. Jerry will be back, I guess, <laughs> and then he will sort out his laptop. There you are. I'm sorry. Um, are there anyone from Catalanian on Skype? No. Okay. So there are no questions anyway. No questions allowed. Yeah. No. Okay. Good. Um, so the next one would be Dan. So if you have questions, you should write them down to pirata.cat and get them answered. <laughs> okay. Um, the next one will be Pirate Party of Hesse. Okay. The Pirate Party of Hesse 
had registered three delegates here um, and have supported the conference by paying for um, the attendance fee for them. And, um, but unfortunately, due to some personal reasons and uh, whatever, they are not able to be here. And they sent an email this morning asking that I read this email. Well, um, dear participants of the PPI conference, the State Association of Hesse, Pirate Party Germany, seeks to apply for a PPI observer membership as the General Assembly of the Pirate Party of Hesse decided with a vast majority to do so. Unfortunately, we will not be able to present our organization to the Pirate Party International Conference in person. Our manpower is constricted due to election campaign for the local election in all of Hesse this month, and it with great regret that our designated delegate cannot attend the conference for compelling personal reasons. The State Association of Hesse is, like all state associations of the Pirate Party of Germany, is a direct subsidiary organization of the Pirate Party of Germany and as such shares the same principle and has quite similar statutes at the Pirate Party of Germany and most, if not all, their state associations. We would be very happy if the conference would accept our membership application despite the fact that we failed to send a delegate for the above reason. Anyway, we wish you all the best and nice and successful weekend down there in Friedrichshafen for the Pirate Party of Hesse, Tim Gück, political secretary. Um, well, um, since I am a member personally of the Pirate Party of Hesse, I can answer questions to structural stuff regarding Hesse, but I'm not representing Pirate Party of Hesse, I'm just a regular basis member, <laughs> as I could say. And I must say, we, uh, the Pirate Party of Hesse uh, right now are running 30 parallel local election campaigns. So there, this morning, there's about like 30 teams out on the streets uh, in different cities, um, all campaigning for elections that will be on the March 27th in two weeks' time. And since there are no quota no, to get no vote quota to get in. Um, we have um, large chances to get in with a lot of delegates into local uh, parliaments. Well, is there, are there any questions to the pirate application of Pirate Party of Hesse? No? Okay, no questions, no questions, no questions, no questions, no questions. Good. Very well, then. Um, we have the last, no, we have two applicants yet. And I don't see any pirate without borders here. Not yet in the room. They are still outside. Okay. And I haven't seen the other guys as well. So the others are the young, the, the youth pirates of Germany. Any one who are from them here? Okay, they sent, have sent an, a, 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 um, an application very late, like on Thursday. Yes. <laughs> well, they're, they're still young, young, you know, you, they have to. <laughs> There's some very spontaneous and, and um, wild sometimes. Okay, um, perhaps there will be another opportunity to, for them to represent. Other than that, you can find an application in the wiki. And... Maybe some will come still because they have a participant registered uh, from them to be here. Um, so if we will arrive, I'll introduce you um, to him to, so you're able to, so you'll be able to ask questions if you have any. Um, the, well, the details you find in the wiki. Okay, um, Moira, this is the last application for the Pirate Party, pi not Pirate Party, sorry, the Pirates Without Borders. Thank you. Good morning, all. I'm representing Pirate with uh, Borders. This is an international community organization, an association with its seat in St. Gall in Switzerland. And we are, um, we are working for pirate projects, community projects. For example, the Pirate Planet, which aggregates blogs from all over the world. And also, we are planning to do some thing that's called Pirate Academy, where we provide um, information and knowledge for free for our members, for all the pirates, and for all people. 
We were founded one year ago in Graz. And now we are one year, we have 70 members. And I am the general secretary of Paragas of Borders. Any questions? Yes? Uh, I, I got a question. We met a few of uh, Pirates Without Borders yesterday, and uh, they actually told us uh, that the uh, founding of uh, this kind of organizational community was made because uh, they can't fit in the political structure or whatever PPI presents. So why are they Pirates Without Borders if there are pirate parties? Is it, uh, a, is it like non-political approach to the same issue, or what's the reason? Pirates Parties International is an organization where only juristic persons, or lo however this is called in English, um, can be member. And as a normal person, you can't get member of Pirate Party International. Only the parties or associations can be member of um, PPI. And Pirates of Borders is something like the PPI, but for normal persons. So each one of you can get member of Pirate with of Borders. Extend my question, is there a formula or sign-up thing over there that we can sign for the Pirate Without Borders? I will have some requests from here when my other BART colleagues um, will join in, a, in a half an hour, we will have, yes. So I would encourage all the pirates here, we should sign as well, because we've got delegates here, but we've got the regular pirates who probably want to go aside the PPI, so <laughs> after that, let, let, let's sign for that. Thank you. Yeah? Um, I don't want to ask negative questions, but I have to ask one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, is there any policy or safeguards in place in order to avoid Pirate uh, Without Borders to make PR mistakes that damage the good name of other pirate parties? It's not working, or is it? No. The, the question is, okay, I'll repeat my question then. Okay, I will repeat the question. What I would like to know, if, the, if there is any safeguard within Pirates Without Borders that guarantees that Pirates Without Borders will not damage the good name of pirate parties or create bad uh, PR in general that could damage our efforts over here. And I would say we are all pirates. The most of us are pirate party members and we have no interest to damage the, the name of the pirates. So why should there be any guarantee? We, I'm, have, I'm we have no interest. We have no intent to do it, this. That is the guarantee that we are all members of para parties, active members. Okay, another question here. Yeah. Um, less a question than to answer also indirectly uh, Zamir's question. I think <laughs> is in any party statutes a safeguard against. Um, yeah, insulting another pirate party against, um, yeah, is there a safeguard in any of your statutes? At least for Luxembourg, we do not have that uh, statute, so um, perhaps, yeah. Switzerland and um, Austria, I think, don't also ha have it in it, but we can work together, it's no problem. Anyone else has a question? Yes. Hi, uh, Marcel Kolaya from the Czech Pirate Party. Uh, I need to say uh, that this is one of the reasons why we run uh, the PPI, because we uh, concentrate the pirate parties in one place and the, uh, concentrate the pirate movement in one place. And uh, this is uh, the way how to uh, avoid making the PR mistakes, because over here uh, we can say our ideas and we can think about them. So, that's it. 
Thank you. Any other questions for Moira from Pirates Without Borders? Yes. Are you guys applying for a regular voting membership or No, observer? we can't because we are not representing a nation. We are an international organization and so we are only applying for observer membership. Okay. Yes. It's not that uh, we're going to probably talk about it in the future, but I think this kind of organization can, can really help us in the upcoming European election, which we cannot stand as a PPI international, but we can find a platform that, that is going to gather us for the upcoming European election. Um, Parties of Borders is not a political organization as a party. We, are not, we will not um, going to participate in elections, but coordinating and help to find the coordinating platforms, why not? We can talk about it. Any more questions? Yes. Uh, only a short sentence about it. So uh, I'm a member of the Pirate uh, Without Borders uh, on the first minute, I will say, in Graz. And uh, the Pirate of Without Borders is, a, is an organization which will support and will help the pirate, the international uh, pirate uh, actions. So it's a kind of international uh, support institution which which uh, will give the yeah. The Pirate Academy, for example, yeah, this is an, a good example for that. So every everybody can can give uh, his knowledge to other pir uh, pirates and will support them in, in elections or something like that. So I'm, I think it's a very good thing uh, outside the normal political party institutions. Thank you. Thank you. Um, question. No. Oh, you're, you're from Pirate, Pirate, Pirate Without Borders. There's a board member of Pirate, Pirate Without That's Borders. That's other board member. It's a technical administration of Pirates of Borders. Florian Pankal from Aschaffenburg, Unterfranken. Yeah, apparently more people from them have just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see on his haircut. Okay. Um, okay. Um, since we are pretty advanced, any important question? No statements, please. Okay. Thank you very much. We have, uh, yes, we, we have one application. Yeah, thank you very much. You're free to move to the stage. <laughs> well, um, excuse me. Um, we have um, another applicant who was in the um, wiki initially, but then due to editing mistakes, you can see him in the history of the wiki if you see the history page. So I just realized that he'd been removed uh, from there, but there is an applicant organization uh, which might be a surprise to you because it's not now in the wiki, but it was there historically. So you um, best introduce it, the whole thing yourself. Hello. Uh, the organization name is Nomadic University, and I was inspired to reapply now because I understood the organizations that do not have geopolitical borders are also invited to be observers. I have a three minutes video showing the work if someone would like to... Yeah, here. <laughs> it's under pirate. It's called the final statement. And while you take the minute to find it, I would like to offer one minute of my presentation for a silence regarding whatever you choose. I offer to the victims of Japan yesterday to remind us of the fragility of the earth in our life and also the potential that the Internet can to educate people and change life. So that you give one minute of silence to think about. Uh, how fragile and how things can change like this. Okay, this is a three minutes work done with a, together with a German professor of new art, Michael Saup, is a digital pioneer 
of art, uh, and we worked together. We showed at the universities in Brazil, in Germany, and India. And it was last month for the LMV, the German meeting in Berlin. It was showed as part of my contribution on that. We work in grassroots, local level, but also in international issues. The video goes about the internet and one of our manifestos. Loud, please. Okay. Okay. Let's let's there. Let I switch you this this microphone. You can speak to this. Question. Um, Patrick Mechler from Switzerland. Um, I'm. It was a very interesting video, but I wasn't sure if I really got the overall picture. <laughs> Maybe it's also sometimes difficult to describe if you want to have something overall, but is it, if you would like to describe it in three words, how would you describe your organization, what it stands for? We work basically with meeting people to people, not so much over the internet. We do grassroots works in remote areas. From the Ganges, we rent a boat in the Amazonia and make it art and digital inclusion there, as well by the Brahmaputra and the Ganges in India. But we also go to university like the Bremen University of Arts or the Weissensee School of Arts in, Ber in Berlin and do this kind of a discussion about it. This work goes about the contradiction of using the computers for equity-friendly reasons while we are still generating the whole, and the pirates should be aware about it, how we stand to it. Huh? But the most important is the, what's the sense of the energy to be discussing the weather in the Internet. And we have a real potential to bring responsibility, education, in a fast way to the people. And so that's, that's the proposal. And I'm a candidate to offer my work tomorrow also for the, as a, a member of the board. But that's a, I, I think opportunity to show the organization because not only me, there are people in universities that are members in different countries that work in this purpose, divulgating that message. So to see what the Pirates is doing and maybe to be an organization from outside propagating liquid democracy, that would be a, an exchange that is useful. It was a long three sentences. Um, anyone, other questions? And please stick to three sentences or something. Like that. Three words now. <laughs> Uh, what do you think about uh, trashware? It will rot. Thank you. Any more questions? Thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm sorry, and since it was not in the wiki, uh, it's not on the voting forms right now, so you have to write them in. 
uh, please. And the name is Nomadic University, right? And what? And you see the list on your voting sheets, on your voting forms on page two, the membership applications. There you have uh, MA129, just put in MA10 and then put in a yes, no, and abstain case and put your, or put your vote in there so we can have a vote on this too. Yes. So did everyone get that? On your voting sheet, page two, if you're, uh, if you're voting for the membership applications, put, the, put down an MA10 at the end of the list and add your vote. Thank you. Okay, and now we have uh, arrived more people and now... Come on, people. We have five more minutes for this round. Please. Jerry. Thank you. We have, uh, we have some representative from the Youth Pirates of Germany still arrived, so they, can, they will represent the application and the pirate parties of uh, Youth Pirate Party of Germany. There she comes. Make applause. Uh, hello, uh, yeah, uh, I'm Daniel uh, from, the, from the German board of the Pirate Party and Gregory just asked me to tell you something about the Young Pirates. It's the Jauf wing of the German Pirate Party. Uh, I'm not a member of the Young Pirates because I'm too old, but she is a member, but she can't tell you so much about it. <laughs> <laughs> but as you can see, there is no minimum age to, to become a member in the Young Pirates in Germany and it's the Jauf wing of uh, our party. It was founded nearly one year ago. And uh, since uh, since uh, s uh, since last year, it's also uh, an official official part of the Pirate Party of Germany, but it's a non-government organization, and uh, so they have other possibilities than we as a party because uh, they can do uh, actions we we can't do because they are allowed to, and uh, uh, especially they are uh, they work in maybe uh, internet gaming or some things which is especially interesting for young people. And uh, yeah, uh, so we have different members of the uh, uh, d uh, we have different people that are members of the party and that are young pirates too. It's no problem. I think the maximum age to be a young pirate is 30 years, 26. Okay, 26. Yeah, uh, like I said, I'm not I'm not a member, but you can ask any questions. Maybe I can answer you. I just want to make a remark uh, uh, about the children. We, we, sh we should uh, think twice because, uh, because of possible expo exploitation of children. Just, just a remark, just to be smart, just to think twice. That's it. Yeah. Okay, it was a remark. Any questions? Uh, in German or uh, English for her? Uh, English, yeah, no problem. Uh, wh which is the treasure from the pirates? Uh, the What's in the treasure? Uh, they, uh, they have, also the, the members have to pay one euro per, uh, per month, so it's, they get 12 euros per year, and uh, they don't have no, uh, so much money. In the, in the past, they had some problems because of money, because they spent too much, <laughs> 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 which they didn't have, but usually... Uh, they also get some some money from from uh, from the from the real party, and so uh, they make some some meetings or so, but not not so much. And it's, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Any more short last questions? Because then we have to move on. Anyone? No. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Please. Thank you, Thank you for being there. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, so that were all the applicants for membership to PPI. Thank you all for your presentations. And now, uh, just a quick explanation concerning the voting. So, um, to accommodate both uh, you here and the remote voters on the, um, well, voting remotely, we um, are voting not here by show of hands, but by uh, giving out the, the, the sheets so um, you have your voting forms. Every delegation has one voting form. And uh, you cross yes, no, or abstention. Uh, again, as a reminder, as we had a new application, 
put down MA10 at the end and put your answer there too. And then we'll, um, then we'll um, collect your uh, sheets and count them. And also count the votes from the remote uh, delegates. Um, you can give me your votes. I will put them in this form. Just come to me and give me your votes when you're, when you're ready. You have until uh, 2 o'clock. So we have enough time for the remote voters. After, after this, please, Mr. Uh, Dennis. <laughs> I am taking the vote. Give the votes to me. The voting sheets, if they are uh, uh, filled out, give them to me. No, I'm collecting them so he doesn't have, he, he's not getting bothered all the time by uh, five, and, and I, um, we, will, uh, we will count them out. There's a one, one question, so just for the stream. Yes. Um, I, I have a question because it's not quite clear from this voting form is we, we are voting for these to become ordinary members or observing members. I would like to uh, thank you. Yes, it, it should, uh, let me see, I think I put it down. Uh, no, I didn't, okay. So, sorry, that's my bad. Um, you have on the agenda who is applying for ordinary membership and who is applying for observer membership. So I'm going to repeat who is applying for observer membership and who is applying for ordinary membership. Please excuse this mistake and thank you all for pointing it out. So we have uh, for the application of ordinary membership, we have the Pirate Party of Slovenia. <laughs> we have the uh, Pirate Party of Morocco, we have the Pirate Party of New Zealand, and we have the Pirate Party of Canada. So they want to be ordinary members with voting rights. Then we have uh, applica applications for observer membership, so without voting rights. This is the Pirate Without Borders, the Pirate Party of Bavaria, the Pirate Party of Hessen, and the Pirate Party of Catalonia. Uh, the Nomadic University, and the Young Pirates Germany. Also, if you show me a vote, someone has a voting sheet. Just. Yes, so they're in order. So the first, the first four from MA1 to MA4 is for uh, ordinary membership, and MA5 to MA10 is observer membership. So again, you have until 2 o'clock to, to give me your file, and um, we will count them out afterwards and announce the votes as uh, they are ready. Um, just a reminder why we're taking so long. It's because to ensure that the remote voters get their vote too and that they can uh, send us in their votes. Thank you very much for this uh, introduction and the application of membership. Now we're moving on.